Hey, it's Lo, and we're with Bozzy backstage at the Roselyn Theater. Welcome back to Portland, man. Yeah. Good to be back. How's it been since we spoke last? Pretty good, I feel like. <sighs> busy, good. <laughs> good, but busy for sure. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Um, sold out Cosmic Tour to the point where you had to add dates and you're kicking it off here in Portland. Yes, ma'am. What, what made you choose Portland to kick off the tour? Um, Honestly, that's a good question. I don't know <laughs> why it kicked off here. It's like routed between like my management and stuff sure. like that. But uh, I had to add Portland because I just saw so many people being like, come to Portland. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I got you. There's mad love for you here. Yeah, and the last time you were in town, um, you were opening for Camila Cabello. Mm -hmm. How how was that experience being on tour with her? Yeah, it was really cool. She's such a sweet girl. And, um, you know, just being able to watch and like learn from someone who's had so much success so fast is, you know, really cool and helpful for me. What did she teach you? Anything um, in particular? Nothing in particular. It's just it's more just like watching her and her mannerisms and, you know, how she treats everybody and, you know, how she performs and, you know, controls the crowd. A, a bunch of it was really helpful to see. Yeah. Yeah. And then the day after that show, you dropped Cosmic. Yeah. And it went number one for a pop album. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. on thank that. You, thank you. A lot of awesome songs on there. Obviously, yeah, mine yeah. is a huge success, huge smash. And then your new single, Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we're actually playing on our hip-hop station Amazing. and it's Continue. great we love, yeah. it. love it um describe that feeling like first kind of tour with camila then you're dropping your album like what were you feeling when you when you found out that it went number one and being on tour and like yeah. all that stuff um i mean it's such a special feeling you know you you put so much time into a project i, I worked on that album for almost three years and mm -hmm. you know invested so much of myself and my identity into it so um to have it out and have people, you know, reciprocate and, and feel and love it is, is such a special feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, some other exciting news that you just announced. You're going on tour with Justin Timberlake. Yes, ma'am. Ah! Yeah. I'm so jealous, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> have you met him yet? No. Well, it's actually funny is that um, I went to the Bahamas with some friends, like, two or three weeks ago. Yeah. And we had this like really private resort and we went and got dinner one night on the beach and it was like me and like three other friends. And then there was only one other table in the restaurant and it was Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Oh my gosh. And like we didn't say any, obviously didn't say anything like respect to the privacy, let them eat and stuff. And sure. Three days later, they're like, yo, JT wants you to go open up for him on his Europe tour. So, I don't know if I, I still haven't talked to him or anything. I really? Yeah, I have no idea if he like saw me. He's like, oh, that's that kid. Probably. And he was probably thinking the same. Like, I'm just gonna leave him alone and like respect his privacy yeah. and let him eat his yeah. dinner. And then, yeah. Do you are. think maybe a potential collab can spin out of, Who of knows? this? Or? I don't know. I really have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Anything's possible, right? Yeah. Um, I was kind of looking through your Instagram recently and. Um, the post that you did for your dad on Father's Day was, it, it made me cry a little bit because I have i have a really great relationship with my dad too. Mm -hmm. And just kind of you showing not the so, so glamorous side of like the things that you do, I think is really important mm -hmm. for people that are like wanting to, to be an artist and yeah. trying to come up and having to understand like, hey, listen, it's, it's not- Not always beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what is a piece of advice that your father has given you that's maybe put you in the situation that you're in right now? Yeah, I think um, I think it's just a lot of the stuff he taught me growing up. He always, you know, instilled confidence and, you know, a value to just follow whatever it is that I wanted to do, which mm -hmm. I think is so important for your parents. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's just, a, I'd say it's just as a whole, you know, everything he's taught me and um, the position he put me in to learn and grow and to grow into myself and into my own skin is, mm -hmm. you know, everything, so. Yeah. Is he, is he here tonight? Is he coming? No, he's not here tonight, he, Is no. he coming with you at all on, on no, the No, no, he's coming to, he's going to be in the LA shows. I'm sure he'll come stop it. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to touch on this because it's funny, face tattoos. Yeah, you Thoughts, like my face questions, tattoos. Yeah, concerns yeah. about face concerns, tattoos. Yeah. Um, I won't be getting any face tattoos okay, good. anytime soon. <laughs> if if no. you had to get a face tattoo, what would you put on your face? I don't know. Probably <laughs> something really sarcastic, like the thing I put on my Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Something maybe like super califragilistic. I feel like that's a good one. Yeah. Um, but I might get a, a side head tattoo. Uh oh. But something like super small. You're going to ease your way into it, and then you know all of a sudden saying? you're going to look like Post Malone. Exactly, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Um, besides your album, 
What has been your favorite album this year or this summer to, to come out? Have you been listening to other artists at all? Yeah, of course. I always check everything. I'd probably say it's J. Cole, K.O.D. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite. And the most complete, you know, that I've heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that, too. Um, how did you feel about... Have you listened to Drake's Scorpion at all? Yeah, I listened to it. A side, B side. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's different. Would you ever do something like that? Uh, like an A side, B side record. Yeah, like a like a two yeah. two sided, double sided I record. I see myself doing something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be as specific as like the A side, B side. But right. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. Everybody has different sides of themselves, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Um. So besides beautiful being out, what are some new projects? Or and the tour, of course. Yeah. What are some maybe new projects that you're working on, or stuff that you maybe yeah. have planned for the future? Yeah. Oh, I have so much fun. Stuff <laughs> well, next is. A remix of Beautiful, that's coming. Okay. That's all I can say. That's all? Yeah. How many people are on it? I don't know yet. It <laughs> might be two, though. It might be two. Okay, all right. Thank you sure. for, the, for, for those details. Yeah, I got you. I got what you. about, what, anything else? Just living the dream, huh? Just living the dream, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'm trying to get myself in trouble. <laughs> I not say anything. Stay out of trouble, boss. Yes, I will. I'll try my hardest. Fozzie backstage at the Roseland. Thank you so much. Of course.